Hi, guys. Let's go. Congratulations Thank on the win. So much, uh, bro. What did you make of the fight as a whole? I know it ended with an injury, sort of, but what did you make of your, your own performance? I don't know nothing about injuries. I just, need, I just know I beat Brandon Royval. I get the W this night, and all that mattered to me right now, bro. So I'm so happy right now. You, you dominated uh, pretty much in every aspect, especially the grappling. Is that where you knew you would shine coming into this fight against uh, specifically Brandon Royville? Yes, and, and that's why I try to don't think about the injury, you know? I mean, okay, okay. Uh, I know something happened in the fight, but I was uh, dominate the fight, you know, dominate the fight. So uh, just that, that matters for me right now. The Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I, I, I knew Brandon Royville is so amazing on the ground. But everybody forget uh, all my uh, career, I was an amazing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter. Too. I'm, I think right now I'm, I'm more uh, a complete athlete. I'm more, uh, my, strength, my striking is better right now. But my, my Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is, is amazing too, you know? And then after your, your win, you obviously rightfully so said you, you should be next for the title and everything. Have you talked to anyone in the UFC at all about what's next for you after this win? Okay, the, the, the first time when UFC gave me Alex Perez uh, to fight to, today, uh, they say something like, beat Alex Perez and you're the next for the title. Right now, uh, they, say, they say the same stuff. I mean, it's hard to believe in, in them again, you know, because they put Alex Perez for the title. So I just want to some respect for the company. I mean, I know never is never is a, a personal stuff. Never is perso personal. Is his business, his company. But I think I'm deserve the fight for the title. You know, that, that's it. Brandon over here. Yes, so, sir. So was today about sending a message to let everybody know that you're that guy. Uh, again, sir. Was today about sending a message to let everybody know that you're that guy for the next title shot? Of course, I mean, I, I mean, and I think my 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 road to the title is is harder to other people because, you know, I'm not a trash talker. I I hate I hate like for example I don't know Twitter because it's too much hate there. You know, I'm a martial artist, so I think my statement was my fight, and that's it. You know. I deserve the fight for, for the title. I'm the number one ranking in the flyweight division right now. That's it. How cool is it to be an uh, inspiration to other Latinos? Because a lot of Latinos, they into boxing, not MMA. But they see you out here choking people out, breaking their shoulders, <laughs> and getting title shots. How cool is that to be the, for future Latinos coming up to see you doing your thing? And, hey, I could be like that guy. He just came off the show, and look at him now. That is an inspiration, inspiration for me, you know. Uh, I say before that in, in other interviews, I want to be like uh, the Julio Cesar Chavez of the mixed martial arts in Mexico, you know. I know I, I can be that guy. And I know, I, I, I mean, I want to inspire other uh, guys, young guys like me in this sport in, in Mexico, in Latin America. And they can uh, watch my fights and say, hey, I, I can do something in this sport. It's hard for us because we don't have a support for big companies, for the government. We, we are a, a third world country in Mexico, in Latin America. But watch me today, watch me now, and tell me why they can do something in this sport. And can you give us an insight to your mentality? Because you came out and took, and took a lot of chances to get the result that you wanted. How come a lot of fighters don't take chances? It's like they play it safe and then they go to the decision and they get all upset when they don't go their way. You're like, I'm not having none of that. So give us some insight to your mentality when you got in that cage today into getting your hand raised. Because like you were, this is not going to the decision. You were hell bit on that. I know, I mean, this, uh, the technique is important. Uh, the physical is important, but for me, my mindset is my most powerful skill. You know, I had too much uh, pain. I had, I had like uh, too much uh, problems before, you know, UFC released me, all, all everybody knows that, that shit in my, in my history. But my, my mindset is my, uh, my, my first uh, skill right now. I know I can beat everybody, and that's why I'm here right now. Final question for me. 
who you fat chair better with, Perez or Figueredo? I think Figueredo will win this tonight, but that's why I love this sport, you know, because Alex Perez can make the upset. He deserved the fight for the title, you know, and I say never is personal for me. Alex Perez deserved the fight for the title, the title tonight, but I think Figueredo is the winner today, tonight. Brandon, over here. I've interviewed, I've interviewed you after a few of your fights, and uh, I was at your fight outside the UFC in Southern California. Oh, uh, nice. One of my Thank friends you. that trained with you, yeah. What did it mean to you to be able to get back into the UFC and, and all of a sudden you were so much better? What did you learn when you were outside the UFC, and what, uh, what was your feeling when you were outside of the UFC as far as what your future would hold? It's, why, it's because... Uh, Something else born when I was in the bottom uh, of my life, you know. I had, um, again, I had too much problems, you know. Uh, UFC released me. I started to have, like, uh, economic problems with money. Uh, my, uh, my older daughter uh, had an injury, and I don't have money. I need to, uh, I need to, uh, my mother give me some money to pay the, the surgery of my, of my girl. I was di so disapp disappointed of my life in that moment. So something happened, something uh, born in that moment for me. And that's why right now I think it's other Brandon, you know, before when I beat Smolka, when I beat uh, Ryan Benoit, Ortiz, even when I lost against Pantoja and Sergio Perez was another Brandon Moreno. Right now, it's another monster different. It really seems that way. It seems like when you were younger, you just didn't have everything that it took. Do you like it anyway that you were that, that you came as a younger fighter, or if you had your choice to do it again, would you have had them only bring you to the UFC when you were a little bit older and mature? Maybe. I mean, I think uh, the the I think the always is the correct moment. You know, always is the correct moment. I'm still young. I have 26 years old. I'm young, but I'm start too young too in this sport. You know. I'm starting this sport when I, uh, when I was uh, 12 years old. Uh, um, I have almost 10 years like a professional. So I think always is the correct moment. That's it. Last question. Will this fight go the distance tonight, the main event, or will someone stop uh, the other guy? No, man, I don't think so. It's, I, I, I are both monsters, you know, similar styles. I think Figueredo beat Perez. So I don't think we get uh, some this, this uh, decision. No decision. No decision. I don't think inside so. Inside the distance. Awesome. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Brandon, what's up, man? Yeah. Hey. So let me, under, let me make sure I understand this because I'm not too familiar with the situation. But as you were explaining it, you were anticipating getting this title shot instead of Perez. And Perez got the title shot. According to the rankings, they have you at number one and him at number four. So – I'm wondering, what was the deal breaker? Because you had mentioned that, you know, it's the UFC's company, it's their business, it's not personal. Well, what, what happened? Do you know what the breakdown was? Man, I don't know. <laughs> Until this moment, I'm still, I don't know what happened when the UFC, when the company take edit, uh, Alex Perez to get the title fight. I mean, I don't have more words. I mean, I don't know. Well, because I plan to ask Dana White later, but I, I know... Please, I'm telling you I know what, how what those answers usually... Yeah, when you ask him those questions, it's typically the same answer. You know, we offered them the fight. I don't know if he said that about you, but I plan to ask him. We offered them the fight, didn't take it. Well, we don't really know. I mean, was it... Was it did it come down to money, you think? They weren't going to pay you guys enough, and you, your team didn't want to do it? No, I mean, I don't like to talk too much about my, my deals with the company, sure. but it doesn't worry about money. So what could it possibly be if you're the number one guy then? I agree with Man, you. There's no question you are the number one contender. I mean, it's obvious, obviously something happened at that moment, you know. Just my, man, my manager uh, uh, called me one night and said, hey, hey, Brandon, um, I talked with the GFC. Uh, Cody Garbrandt had something, some injury in his bicep. Uh, but uh, they decided to take Alex Perez and not you. Man, in that moment when my, my manager told me and said me that, was, I was mad, disappointed, sad, a lot of uh, different emotions, you know. Well, stay tuned because later this evening, hopefully, we'll have that answer from uh, Uncle Please. Dana himself. For you. <laughs> Please. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Brandon, two more things here. Let's go. 
When you were going for a rear naked choke, and it looks like you had a little bit of a face crank going as well because you weren't getting under the chin, did you feel like you were close to getting him to tap to the face crank? Ah, yes. In some, in some moment, yes, I feel like all his chin, you know, you can uh, take uh, the real naked choke uh, under the chin, under the, yeah. but with, if you, you take all this part of the chin, you can make the, the, the tap, but here... here Roll, turning his head. Turn yeah. his head really well, and, and I can just hold the position, and that's it. And can you tell us where do you think the injury happened to him? Was it from that position, or were you aware of, uh, of that? I mean, he tried to go uh, stand up in that position, but I put a lot of pressure with my hips. Maybe that, I don't know. I don't know. I need to watch the, the, the fight again and see what happened. But... Before that, I was very dominant in, in all the positions, you know. So I try, I I will try to don't think too much about the injury, and that's it. Makes sense. Thanks so much. Thank you. Let's go. Felicidades. Hey, muchas gracias. Ah, claro. Le tengo que preguntar esto. Suponiendo <laughs> que no te dejen retar por el título, okay. ¿cuál es el próximo paso en la carrera de de usted? Ah, ahorita vacaciones. ¿Sabes algo? Tengo mucho tiempo prometiéndole vacaciones a mi familia. No lo he hecho. Siempre digo, hey, ¿sabes qué? Después de esta pelea voy a agarrar vacaciones. Y nunca lo hago. Y pobre de mi familia. Siempre están encerradas en la casa. Y ahorita, imagínate por la pandemia. Entonces, ahorita lo que, lo que sigue para mí son vacaciones. Quiero irme a algún lugar lejos con toda mi familia. No me importa el, el, el costo del vuelo. Lejos del COVID, lejos de todo. Y después, supongo, es que ellos me lo prometieron. Ellos me lo prometieron. Supongo que lo merezco, hermanos. Supongo que no hay otro camino para mí más que ese. O sea, no sabría qué pensar si ellos eh, aplican otra situación extraña en, en contra mía, ¿no? Ok, gracias. Y en, se pudo ir un poquito en el, en el evento tu esquina, como que se alocó y te dijeron, tírale golpes, tírale golpes. Tírale golpes. <risa> ¿Ellos sabían que estaba lesionado? <risa> pues ahí está, mira. Pregúntales a la esquina. Porque pensé que... ¿cómo? Se volvieron locos los dos. No, mira, es que en cierto punto yo lo escuché gritar un poquito. Le quito la base, le quito la, la base para que no pueda levantarse y me deja descubierto toda la cara. O sea, y veo que empiezo a conectar de forma cómoda y que no está respondiendo. Entonces yo simplemente fue a oler sangre y seguir con el ataque, ¿no? De acuerdo, pues otra vez felicidades. Y Muchas gracias. Que salga todo bien. Muchas, muchas gracias.